The most effective way of managing properties like an object's color, its line type, or its line weight is to enforce these by layer. If I look at, for example, the hatching and I look at its properties, you'll notice that the color it's designated by layer. Over here I can see that its line type is also designated by layer as well as its line weight. This means that when the hatch has been created, it gets its property from the layer that it's on. If I were to change those properties of the layer, all of the objects in the drawing that are on that layer would change their properties. For example, I'm going to open my uh, layer property manager and here is my hatch layer. I'm going to go in and change its property from red to blue. I'll say OK and close. And now you see that all of the objects that are on the hatch layer have assumed that color. That also means that if I were to choose a particular object and I change its layer, in other words I'm changing it from the hatch layer uh, to the visible layer, then that particular object as it changed layers will assume the properties of its new layer. Now if I choose an individual entity like this hidden line, I can see that its property, its color is set by layer. Now that doesn't mean I can't change it. If I went in and decide that I wanted to set this to be a red line, I've taken away its by layer and replaced it with red. Now notice that if I click on it and I change its layer to visible, for example, which should be a black continuous line, it becomes a continuous line, but it, but it stays red. That's because I've changed from by layer, and this individual entity now has a color of red that will stay red. That's why when certain properties are being enforced by layer, it's a good idea not to change them to individual properties. If you do, you lose their association with the layer and your ability to manage them as a group. Now if I look up here on the properties panel, I can see these properties that are most often assigned by layer. Color, line weight, line type, and print. If I look at the flyout menu, you can see that, that by default, when I started drawing, these are all set to by layer. And it's best to leave them at by layer and then create the layers with the properties that you want to use to enforce whatever standards or organizational system you're using in your drawing. 